Hey everybody, this is Kite Altera with KiteTalksAbout.com and in this video I will be showing you part two of Project Aura which is my automated unmanned reconnaissance airplane, the Arduino controlled RC plane. So as you can see there are going to be several parts to this video. Um, so first you have the control here which has the two Arduino microcontrollers, two HC12s, two potentiometers here and they all control this airplane, the motor which will be here and the ailerons. This is the right aileron and this is the left aileron. So let's go straight into the breadboard and get into it. So here you have uh, the breadboard. This will be the main control unit. The only controlled unit. So here you have two sides. So on here the left side you have one AC12 which contr is controlled by this Arduino uh, Pro Mini, uh, actually this Arduino Nano and on the right side you actually have the same thing you have an Arduino uh, Nano as well as an AC12 right about here and then you have two potentiometers. So you have one potentiometer that controls the ESC or the electronic speed controller which thus controls the motor, how fast the motor is going to be spinning and then for the other potentiometer you have the aileron. So aileron left and right that will determine if the plane goes left or right. So what will happen is by adjusting the potentiometers that information because I believe it's a 10 kilo ohm or so uh, potentiometer uh, though you don't need that specific value, you just need a potentiometer. Those values are read by this Arduino Nano, which are then sent via radio frequency through this HC12 and is then received by this HC12 here. And then those results are interpreted by the Arduino Nano. And then from there, that is being sent, that whatever the values are being sent. Uh, one pin is for the servos, both servos, uh, for the ailerons, the left and right, while the other is controlling the ESC or your electronic speed controller for your motor. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the potentiometers. Uh, the one to the right actually controls the servos while the one on the left controls the ESC. One problem I have um, discovered is that because of how the breadboard is set up and how the pins are set up for the potentiometer, unless you press down on that potentiometer, you won't have proper electrical mating. So you may see as I'm adjusting the ESC as well as the servos, there may be a jump. However, when I press down the potentiometer and cement that electrical, uh, the electrical connection, everything seems to smooth out. Now, if you look really closely, and maybe even if you listen really close, you can see there's a really small jump here. You see that? So that small jump, that cannot be controlled. That and I like how it just stopped as soon as I brought it up. I swear this uh, plane is haunted. But sometimes that, that little jump happens uh, because of the H-bridge that actually controls the servos. It tries to drift a little bit and then the um, servo actually detects that and corrects it. So I don't believe that'll be a problem when I'm actually flying the plane because it's so slight. However, if it is, then you know I'll just have to adjust it as necessary. Uh, now, mind you, this plane is actually going to be automated, so I don't anticipate controlling it from the ground. However, this is just a demonstration that shows that it can be controlled from the ground if I so choose. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and hold down this potentiometer here just with my finger to cement that electrical connection. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adjusting. So the higher the value, the more right the wing goes. And I'm going to switch it to the other side now. And it's going more to the left. So whatever wing goes up, that is direction. That's the direction it's going to go. So the right wing goes up, then it is going left. If the left wing goes up, it's going right. So it's about inverse. Whatever goes up, it goes the opposite direction. So this will be the servo. This just proves there's no funny business here. And then we're going to go ahead and do the ESC after evening out the ailerons. Okay, this is about even. So now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the ESC or my electronic speed controller. Listen. Okay, so that actually is the proof of concept. That's what's actually going to be happening. Uh, 
for uh, when I fully assemble it. Now, one thing I will have to do is have the control surface. So this, I'm going to actually have um, two parts. So this here, this section, the leftmost section, this is going to be the air control, and this rightmost section where the potentiometers are are going to be the ground control. Now this air control here is actually going to have a prototype board here on one of the wings because the control surface is just too large a prototype board that I need I can barely get it to fit in here which is basically the hull of the plane um, and as well as get the batteries in because I need one battery that is going to supply uh, power to the motor which is this battery here and I have another battery which is not listed well which is not seen here and that will actually be powering the air control for the Arduino that's going to be inside the hull so I'm just going to have it on a wing and then fly it from there um, biggest thing though is because you're going to have a little weight here the plane is going to be slightly off balance so what I'm going to do is uh, increase this servo so that it's lifted up a little bit so that as it since it will be normally tilted a little bit because of that weight it'll even itself out so I still need to go ahead and get the joystick instead of uh, the um, two potentiometers I'll have one potentiometer and have one joystick the joystick will control the wings while the potentiometer is just going to control uh, the speed of the plane itself so uh, I don't have a lot of work left to do because I've already tested the altimeter the gyroscope and whatnot however I will save that for another video but biggest thing is that if you guys are actually following me on Instagram which I have the same username um, Kite talks about you actually would see um, I actually made it and I did a little quick demonstration video so follow me on Instagram as well as on Facebook both names are Kite talks about as well as look at my website kitetalksabout.com so I hope you guys have a very blessed day and a very good weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video bye